Well, we had the budget yesterday. Yeah. Uh, it's not been too bad, actually. The only thing is inheritance tax, uh, which means that, you know, if you're, you know, got elderly relatives who are at that point where they might have to think about their, you know, their inheritance that they're going to bequeath to other people, they're going to, it's, it's going to cause a whole world of hate uh, going on there, I think. Uh, and particularly the farmers as well. When the farmers have to, um, uh, you know, they they hand over their properties to their to their siblings or their their children, um, you know, it, there's going to be a big it's going to be a big hit for the farmers. And uh, I was listening to one particular farmer recently saying that um, the inheritance tax on his property would have meant that he went bankrupt. And he said to them, well, what I'll do then is I'll knock the building down and then just convert it so there's no inheritance, there's nothing to hand over. The, it, the, the value of this building will be nothing. It's just an old shed that I use for storing tools or stuff like that. Uh, and then the government said, OK, well, we don't have to pay inheritance tax on that. But, but now the new inheritance tax is going to be a real killer, I, I think. There wasn't much in the way of a tax rise for the average Joe, like you or I, um, and uh, that wasn't too bad. There's not much in the way of, um, well, I, was, I don't smoke, so I'm not sure about what happened with the cigarettes, but um, I do have a, the occasional gin and tonic or a beer now and again. And I also drive my car. Uh, we weren't hit so bad with the, with the increase in duty on petrol, um, not according to the, to the uh, one analysis that I've read. I actually did a calculator thing. I went online and looked at the calculators for, uh, uh, you know, after the after the budget. Um, yeah, but still, what, uh, what really has annoyed me is the fact that they've still taken away the winter fuel allowance from these pensioners. Now, Labour did a forecast well before... They, um, I think it was 2000, five years ago anyway, 2019, I think, it, they did a study on what would happen if you took the winter fuel allowance away. And it was forecast then that 4,000 pensioners would die because the winter fuel allowance had gone. Yeah, and they did it anyway. They knew that 4,000 people would die and they did it anyway. Yeah, they're evil. They are absolutely evil. This is this is the trouble with the left. They are absolutely vile, vile creatures. They, you listen to some of the people, uh, like Robert De Niro. His, his, I can't, I can't describe how vicious and how hateful that man is towards Donald Trump. Yeah, he doesn't have to be that nasty, but he is. But anyway, getting back to British politics, uh, I don't think I don't think uh, you, you'll you'll have to be gone by Christmas. This Keir Starmer, we're now finding out that the uh, Stockport killer was actually a terrorist. When did I think they were going to tell us about this this ricin that this terrorist had had? They did. They, they kept that under the under the carpet, didn't they, for a long time? Three months later, he's come out and he's still not been prosecuted, um, or even sent down. We've got that other Labour MP that went like that and said he was going to um, euthanise other religious groups because he didn't agree with them. Um, he's yet to be sent down. Yet, you say hurt, hurty words on the internet and you're jailed straight away. Uh, and now we're finding out that these people who put out these so-called hurty words were correct. This was a terrorist incident in Stockport, but we're not allowed to say that. So expect the police round my house any minute to arrest me for saying hurty words about the religion of peace. Yeah, religion of peace, my ass. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, I do think that I actually was uh, 
on, on hindsight, to take my uh, cash, uh, oh, sorry, should I say tax-free lump sum for my pension, which is what I bought my car with, I, I think, uh, on hindsight, that was the best thing I could ever have done. Because if you get your tax-free lump sum now, you're going to get taxed on it. So that was the other thing that there's going to be no more tax-free lump sums. Even though you paid for that money all those years ago, you, you paid you pay taxes on your pension um, before the, they take it out. Anyway, um, it's, it wasn't... Uh, I don't think it's a very fair tax. If you, if you were expecting to get a tax-free lump sum just before you retire or as you retire... Um, then you're and you've waited you've waited too long you should have taken it when I did Um, so I'm rather glad now that I've had that Uh, so yeah it's gone it's they can't tax me on something I haven't got anymore can they but uh, we never know with labor they might start doing retro uh, tax on earnings that you had last year let alone about earnings you've had this year but that's labor for you anyway so I rabbited on for another six minutes and um, it's not very warm out here so I'm going to go back in but yeah I hope the budget hasn't been too mean for you and uh, I do hope that um, I really hope that Labour get out get booted out there's people the people saying that the king should dissolve parliament and have a new election because Labour is so unpopular Um, but anyway at least, at least we won't have to pay extra for your gin and tonic this weekend. So anyway, I'm going to carry on and uh, get this edited, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye then. <laughs>